The way to model this facade design by white architecture in Revit is way simpler than you are expecting. I will be using Revit 2024 and metric multidisciplinary template, but before I move there, let's just take a closer look on how this facade is structured. So as you can see, we have, let's say, this scale of 10 meters. So I'm going to assume that this distance here is three meters. And also I'm going to assume that this height is three meters while all the other heights are going to be 3.6 meters. So what we have to do is to follow this principle. So in Revit, I'm going to use a wall tool and I'm going to create a wall which is 33 meters long. And which goes up to the second level. The reason why it's 33 meters long is because we have those 11 fills of 3 meters. I just create a 3D view and then here we don't need scope boxes. And what we also need to see is the south elevation. So from south elevation we need to create two more levels. This one is 3.6 so the next one is 3 meters and then 3.6 and we can make one more of 3.6. Then we can just copy our wall. Something like this. And then just select this one and make zero to the top offset. So this seems fine. And now I'm going to create those separations. And the way I'm going to make it will be through the reference plane. So I'm just going to take this tool. RP is a shortcut. make it three meters and then I'm going to take a ray tool three meters make 10 of them actually 11 and that's fine so we, we can see them right now in a south elevation view there is one more quite important thing here so you see that our arches they are starting from here and then we have half here so they are taking two of our fields so I, I'm going to assume that they are starting at, uh, let's say, 2.5 meters and the bottom is at 1.8, for example. So we need to create it. And in Revit, I will just take a detail line tool in this case. I will take the, I will create the offset of two and a half meters and then one more of 1.8. Take a detail line again, take the arch tool and then just make it this way. Now we can delete those two and then I can just take a mirror and I will start mirroring this. At the end we can take a trim. So now select all of them check in a filter so it just lines and group them take a copy and copy from the bottom now when our shapes for the windows are done we need to create the windows and the way i'm going to create it is by wall tool so i'm going to go to wall and in this case i'm going to take a curtain wall so I will just make a new type, we'll go here, we'll make this as and okay, let's say we are going to make a vertical grid, let's say the spacing should be 2 meters maybe, then for a vertical million mullions, I'm going to take those 40 by 62 and actually I'm going to use them for all of our mullions. If you take a closer look on the facade, we have no horizontal mullions. We only have the horizontal borders and I'm going to take the same mullion for the borders. We'll go to the level one and I'm going to make one which will start from, let's say, one meter from here, which will go up to here just to see how it looks like. And as you could see, we got nothing. It's pretty high. I will just make it to be two and a half meters. And the reason why we don't see the cut is quite simple. 
and it's because it's when we go to edit type we didn't click on automatically embed so this is quite important to click on this uh, check mark and you see that it automatically cut it into our wall uh, then uh, let's go to the plan view and i just need to make and to fix our panel so i will make a duplicate of this one we'll make the offset of zero and the rest i can keep the same and select the whole wall uh, and make the curtain panel the one we just made so this is okay and let me just open the picture one more time so i will start the meter from here and meter from here i can make set like this okay of oh, one meter and then the same here take a trim tool so here is fine and then here and then just offset this And now I will select this wall, we will go to edit profile and we'll start picking our arches. Because as you could see, we have this continuous curtain wall at the ground floor level. Delete this one and just do the trim here. Click finish, delete element and that's it now select the curtain wall go to copy and align it to the next levels and then repeat the process so in this case let's say that this starts from the half and it goes two more fields to the right so it will start 1.5 meter from the end of the wall take a trim tool and clean your drawing so it goes two more fields i will take a trim here and i will take a split tool here because probably i'm going to need this later on then we have one field empty and three fields full slice this one trim this and then we need the line here as well so half field empty and then half field full so offset it for one and a half Ignore this, slice this one, and then we have at the end just two halves. Finish it, delete elements, and let's just check how it looks like. So now I'm going to repeat the process for the upper two. So this one is the full one, just with a, uh, one and a half meters from, uh, from the sides. And now select the top floor. So we have one and a half again. And here as well take a slice And there is one more thing we need to do and it's to do the slice here on the main wall as you could see we have this empty part here just take trim tool and trim this to here and this one to here so if you go to 3d you see how it look like and it's look and it looks pretty similar to what is done actually designed by white architecture by the way, uh, I'm going to show you a bonus tip for this video and it's uh, how to create those rounded profiles on your walls. So in order to do so, you need to go to File, New and then pick a new family. 
And in this case, I am going to take the new metric profile. Then I'm going to make this profile as a 10 centimeters. So let's say it's 100 millimeters. I will take the arch tool and I'm going to make it something like this. Uh, let's just save as and the name will be Arctizi rounded profile. I forgot one very important thing and you need to go here to family categories and parameters and then uh, for the profile usage instead of generic just go down and pick wall sweep. Load into project and in this case I can go to wall. Uh, actually we can just create a 3D view for example then we can go to wall sweep. I can make a vertical one and let's make uh, Arkitizi sweep and now for a profile just pick this one rounded profile I just made so it's okay and then click it and place it like this and place it like this uh, in a floor plan view you can then pick on this and move it and then take a ray tool so I know it's 100 millimeters and I will make 200 of them because that's the maximum which Revit can create uh, with one array element. So here it comes and I would like to continue from this one. But as you could see, we cannot see this in our floor plan view. So I'm going to go to the view range and then I'm going to increase it on, let's say, two meters, our cut. We'll select this one. I'm going to ungroup it and then I'm going to take a ray tool. 100 and I'm going to make 130 because we need 330 pieces uh, due to our width of the profile of 10 centimeters and the length of the facade of 33 meters. Uh, making sweeps will take a while but it will really increase the quality of the presentation of the model. Anyway if you would like to create the sweeps in that way I'm going to I recommend you to firstly create the first wall on a ground floor level, then to create the sweeps to that floor, to that wall, and then you can copy that wall above because it's going to bring all the sweeps with it. I really hope that you were enjoying this video. If so, please just uh, click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share our videos with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.